Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Monday, January the 8th. It's the first week after the Epiphany, and week one in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 7, <clears throat> and Genesis 2, verses 4 through 9, and 16 through 25. And now join me in singing verse 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. Say to that power that shakes the sky, how terrible you are, sinners before your presence fly, or at your feet they bow. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, O oh God, I put my trust in you. Hallelujah. Psalm 7. Please recite it with me. <clears throat> Hallelujah, O oh God, I put my trust in you. Save me from them that persecute me, lest they tear me to pieces like a lion, while there is none to deliver me. O God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have repaid evil to a friend or plundered the one that is my enemy without cause, then let the enemy persecute me, let the enemy take me, and tread my life into the ground, and lay my honor in the dust. Rise, O God, in your anger. Lift yourself against the rage of my enemies, and awake for me the justice that you have decreed. Let the congregation of the people gather round. For their sakes return on high, and judge the nations. Judge me, O God, according to my righteousness. Judge me according to my integrity. Let the wickedness of the evildoers come to an end. Establish the just. For your righteousness tests our hearts and minds. You are my defense who saves the upright. You judge the righteous and are angry with the wicked if they do not repent. You will wet your sword, you have bent your bow and made it ready. You have prepared for them the instruments of death. You ordain your arrows against the persecutors. Behold those who labor with wickedness and have conceived evil and brought forth a lie. They have made a deep pit, and have themselves fallen into it, into the ditch which they dug. <clears throat> their malice shall return to them, and their violent ways shall fall upon their own heads. I will praise you, my God, according to your righteousness, and I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, O oh God, I put my trust in you. Hallelujah. A reading from Genesis, chapter 2, beginning at verse 4. Such is the story of heaven and earth when they were created. When the Lord God made earth and heaven, when no shrub of the field was yet on earth and no grasses of the field had yet sprouted, because the Most High God had not set rain upon the earth and there was no man to till the soil, but a flow would well up from the ground and water the whole surface of the earth, the Most High God formed man from the dust of the earth and he blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. And the Most High God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and placed there the man whom he had formed. And from the ground the Most High God caused to grow every tree that was pleasing to the night, sight and good for food, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and bad. And the Most High God 
commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you are free to eat. But as for the tree of knowledge of good and bad, you must not eat of it. For as soon as you eat of it, you shall die. And the Most High God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a fitting helper for him. And the Most High God formed out of the earth all the wild beasts and all the birds of the sky. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that would be its name. And the man gave names to all the cattle and to the birds of the sky and to all the wild beasts. But for Adam, no fitting helper was found. And so the Most High God cast a deep sleep upon the man, and while he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that spot. And the Most High God fashioned the rib that he had taken from the man into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And then the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for from man she was taken. Hence a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, so that they become one flesh. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth your saving health among all nations. For those who are ill and battle, battle cancer, especially Susan, and for the victims of violence and their families, especially Rob and Marga. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, we put our trust in you and pray that you save us from all that persecute us. Put an end to all wickedness and establish your justice in all the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.